What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya, girl? It feels so weird without a magic wand. Should we try that one more time? What do we have here? I got a high heel. Welcome back, 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 back. Okay, you guys, for real, let's get down to the business. Today, I thought, all right, there are so many new products hitting the market. I just wanna to go to Sephora and I wanna buy them all and I wanna test them out in one video. So I know a lot of you know this, but in today's video, there is a huge giveaway. So I have partnered up with Glam Glow, bam! And we are going to be giving away a year supply of their brand new Insta Mud Mask. Now this product is unreal, we're gonna try it later. It is a 60 second pore refining treatment, girl. What pours? So there will be a grand prize winner. That person will win a year supply of Insta Mud, and they will get the Thirsty Palette and the entire Jeffree Star Cosmetics Summer Collection. There will be four other people winning, um, and it's not just a little old anything. We're still gonna give you the Insta Mud Glam Glow treatment, and you're also gonna get a Thirsty Palette. Not the entire collection, but girl, it's better than nothing, right? So of course, a lot of you are asking, Jeffree, what do I gotta do to enter? All you gotta do is be subscribed to my channel, follow Glam Glow on Instagram, and leave a comment down below. Let us know about your skin, let me know your favorite product from today's video, whatever you wanna say, sound off below. So all these social media links will be linked down below for me and Glam Glow, of course. Um, but besides that, let's hop in the Tesla and let's get to Sephora. All right, are we taking the pink car today or are we taking the pink car today? Let's take the pink car. Oh, girl. All right, it's 90 degrees today, everyone. It is so hot. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna wear pajamas today. How about that? <laughs> there are so many launches that just hit. Um, I know there's a new Benefit Foundation. There's new Becca Face Palette. Um, there's so many new things from Smashbox, La Mer, of course, Glam Glow. And I'm like, girl, I can't do 100 videos, so... I thought it'd be a good idea just to hop in, buy as much stuff as I can, and just try it all. So should we do a 10 minute parking? I'm literally the quickest shopper, we're gonna do it. All right, let's see what's going down at Sephora, honey. Hourglass has brand new powders out. I have to try this. I heard this is like the setting powder, so we're gonna try this today. Um, and they also have this instantly illuminates and perfects complexion. I think concealer is good enough for me, honey. Oh, what is this new one? New Air Flash Radiance Mist? Honey, get in my bag. Okay, all these brands claim to be holographic, but girl, is this really? This looks more like a duochrome moment. We're simply not logical when you need her. Girl, help me out here. Contour, is there any new ones out? <gasps> oh, I know that Becca has a new one and Smashbox has a new one, so we'll find those and grab those. Oh, I love these. James Charles lives for these moments, so I'm going to get a few more. bag it's time to check out we are all set bam thank you and are you a beauty insider with us? i sure am thank you love have a great ride thank you bye ladies oh, <laughs> when you have so many bags you're just you're fucking up the display my arm is about to break off. Let's get home and test all this amazing makeup and let's see what happens. All right, we are in the studio. Oh my God, look at my hair, it's a fucking mess. Hi babe. Hi baby. <laughs> um, so I just went a little ham at Sephora. I see that. Bags on bags on bags. So we're going to, um, obviously I'm not gonna ask you to try all this makeup with me. Um, no. <laughs> but we are gonna start with some skincare. So I know you live for a Glam Glow mask. Here's one for you. I know you've never seen this before. Wow. Little hourglass, I was gonna say, hot like hourglass. yellow packaging. So this is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. You're gonna be smooth, soft, and have even skin tone um, after this. Um, all right, baby, let's give this a whirl. Let's do this. So basically, this is uh, only one minute 
to Perfect Pores. Uh, it's a foaming mask treatment that instantly refines pores, even skin tone, leaving skin smooth and soft. It has witch hazel, aloe vera, it even has the licorice root in it, honey. So we're gonna smooth a generous layer onto the dry, clean skin, do not rub in. Let sit and the mask will transform. Leave on for literally 60 seconds. I love a fast treatment moment. Okay. Rinse with warm water and follow with your normal routine. Love that. And avoid the eye area, baby. Let's do this. This Ooh, is well, sick packaging. I know, I kind of love I just love the like, neon, it's like a highlighter. It's gonna be a sick hair color on you. Let's keep it really real here. Hey. All right. Ooh, I love this color. Hi. The purple? Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna smooth it on and we're not gonna rub it in really. Oh, I need a little bit more. <gasps> oh, I already feel it foaming. That's so weird and I love it. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, I might need a little more. Wow, this is crazy. This Woo! Can I put okay. some on you? Yeah, I'm like kind of struggle bus over here. Let me help you out. Thank you. I always do need skincare. I actually love it. This is crazy feeling. Ooh, it looks amazing on you. <laughs> Turn. Cool. You're good. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's wait 60 seconds. Let's see what happens. All right. It's been 60 seconds. Let's wipe it off and let's see what happens. That's crazy wiping off too. It does, huh? It's like almost like pop rocks. Mm -hmm. mm. This comes off super easy, which it I love. It really does, yeah. I hate masks where it's like stuck everywhere and you have to like really try Lunch, to yeah. get it off. This feels like very like, I was just at the spa and I'm like having a moment. Oh yeah. All right, baby, how do I look? Fresh. Ooh, really? Yeah. Hey. You look very like, like yeah, you tight. Look. Okay, can I get a little bit for you? Yeah, I can't see it all really. Cute. All right, so you look great. Yes, skin, how does it feel? It feels great, Ooh. I feel good. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go try uh, over $3,000 worth of new makeup right now. That's so crazy. Um, so yeah, I will see you in a little bit. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go play some Fortnite and just relax and hang out with the dogs. Love that, all right, yeah. baby, love you. Love you. Bye, baby. Bye. Bitch, these bags are so heavy and bulky, girl. Um, okay, my skin feels amazing, so let's start with some moisturizer. There's a lot in here. I pulled out a bunch of stuff on my table, um, and we're just gonna keep diving in. So first of all, Beauty Blender has a brand new color, bam. I said, if I'm gonna do a full face first impressions, we gotta really do the, the whole thing. Um, so I tried to find as many products as I could that were brand new. So the Sapphire Egg just hit the market. So besides that, let's dive into some moisturizer. Now girl, La Mer, the moisturizing cream. If you have dry or normal skin, this is Everything for over 300 plus dollars you get this beautiful unicorn and when you open it up girl you get instructions Let me sum it up for you. You open it and slap it on your face BAM And then you also get a spatula because rich people don't dip their nasty fingers into their cream do they? Bitch I do. Now this cream is thick, okay? Let me warn you it is thick, but it is so good. Look at that. It's like frosting. Girl, that's a lot by the way So now we're just gonna take a little bit like this and rub it all over here. I also got this new Guerlain B Glow Youth Moisturizer for dewy skin. I'm not gonna put this on today because the La Mer is so hydrating. I don't wanna overdo it. This was fun. Let's just open it. We gotta see what it looks like. This is what we're here for. I never do unboxings or anything like that. So I'm like, <gasps> tear open. Oh, their packaging though is so stunning. Look at that. It's like a little honeycomb moment. Oh, my fingerprints are already on it. Fuck me. Sorry. Oh. Oh, wow. It has like almost like a pearl effect in there. All right. We will definitely use this in another video, but I just gotta, I gotta know what it smells like. Ooh. Oh, it feels very like wet. Hmm. It smells like an old lady's um, taint. All right, foundation time. Now, I got a lot of tweets about this. I said, what new products should I use? I got tweeted this little happy face a lot. This is the brand new Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur. That's what really reeled me in, let's be honest, the blurring. Soft Blur Foundation. It's light to medium coverage, okay? And it does have sunscreen in it. This has one fluid ounce, which is very standard for foundations. I got shade one and two. Um, only thing that I was a little like, huh, about was the shade range. Um, there is 12 shades and they say that they're like flexible, so several people can use like one tone. I'm not really sure about that. I got these two, so let's see what happens. Ooh, I see something pink in there. Oh, very cute. Okay, love the little face on there. 
Ooh, y'all hear that? So you've got to mix these up. I am gonna try this, but there is something that was sitting in Sephora that I had never tried yet. I know a lot of people did reviews on this, and this is the Urban Decay Velvetizer <laughs> Translucent Mix-In Medium. So I know a lot of you are like, well, girl, this is a like, light coverage. You may want to add in a little something else. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in there. What this does is you mix in a dime size into any liquid makeup and it will give an extra velvety feel with a beautiful matte finish and added coverage. There we go. And it also has a soft focus effect for a perfected complexion. Oh my God, it literally feels like velvet. Whoa, look at that. So let's see if these shades are even gonna match. Girl, this looks so yellow. I'm a little scared. Ooh, oh, it's like already coming out, honey. All right, oh wow. That might be my color. Do I even need shade two? Let's take just a tiny bit. Oh wow. <gasps> Either that's a perfect match or it just evaporated into my skin. I'm sh I'm shook. Let's do a dab of number two. Bam. Oh yeah, that's yellow. No, 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 ma'am. And then we're also gonna take this. Oh, Hannah has this. Oh boy. Mother Chris, I really can't get that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Ooh, look at the UD in there. Okay, so it's a dime size amount. Whoa, this is so crazy. What about that? This is so weird. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in the kitchen, literally. This is so weird. <gasps> is this gonna do anything magical? I'm scared, you guys. Ooh, honey, that's thick. All right, I'm gonna take this egg and I'm gonna get to bouncing and let's see what the hell is about to happen. Not mad at this at all. It's looking really pretty. Now I'm gonna show you guys half of my face. Let me just do a little bit more of my forehead. Okay, bam, Prada. We'll just match that up with the part in my hair and we'll just do this side. Now when I'm first applying it, it does look like there's not much there. And then with the second layer right now, I'm like, okay, there she is. Let's just show one half of my face. Whoa, discoloration over here, look at that. All right, so of course, this is the side with the Benefit Foundation. Is it soft blurring? Kinda, look at that like, little peak of light right there. And then here is, Reality. <laughs> all right, foundation is laid. This is really pretty. Like, are we all seeing what I'm seeing? I'm like, wow, I like how this looks. Let's add some more products on top and see what the hell happens. Now this isn't brand new, but they repackaged the entire thing, the Creaseless Concealer from Tarte. Um, I'm a little scared. Now that I see this foundation, this foundation is very, my exact skin tone. You guys know I like to go a little darker, so this might be the wrong shade. I'm a little scared. The lightest shade was sold out. <laughs> so let's see what happens, girl. Mm, I don't know. Let's do a tiny little test. Oh, wow. Cute. Oh, it looks thick. Okay, I'm scared this is not the right color. Let me just do like a dot. Oh, this could work. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know how much to put on yet, so let's just do that moment and just see what happens because I'm a little scared. It's a little bit lighter than my normal like skin tone, but not really. My normal, my actual. There we go. Okay, blend it out. Usually I can see more coverage or like a more lifted appearance. You can kind of see the difference, but I'm like a little confused here. One second. So this concealer is $26 and it says, completely covers dark circles, hyperpigmentation, redness, pimples, and tattoos. Waterproof. Girl, that did not look that thick, right? Like it looked thick for a minute and then it blended out and I was like, what happened? Like, do I need a little more? Is that too much? But you guys saw as I blended it in, it wasn't like mind blowing. Next, we are about to set this concealer. Now, girl, I've seen a lot of people online use this and I'm like, let me see what the real tea is. This is the new Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. It looks something like this. Of course, it has a beautiful metallic brown component, uh, accents like all Hourglass products. And it also has this crazy brush. I'm like, oh my God, honey, what? Now, the bristles feel very soft for a synthetic. So this retails for $46, oh my God. Ultra refined powder with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections. Everything is just blur happy uh, lately and um, I'm living for it. The formula is infused with diamond powder. Uh, there's no flashback, it sets makeup for longer wear. Um, okay, great. Let's open her up and let's see what everyone's talking about. Whoa, look at that. That is like some high end moment. Whoa, I think as you push it, powder is coming out? What in the? Okay, let's see what happens here, everyone. 
Okay, I'm just gonna be the one that does this. There we go, honey. And normally you guys know I apply powder with a damp beauty sponge, but we're just gonna do one side with this brush and see how we like it. Whoa. So looking up close, it definitely set um, my under eye. Do I like this brush? The brush feels very soft, but you know me. I'm curious, taking out more powder, and I'm gonna apply this with a wet sponge, my favorite method ever, and let's see what happens. Now that really said it, honey. All right, now let's try to sculpt this face. So we have the new Becca, the BA Light face palette. Love the unicarton, but what does the inside look like? Let's see, girl. Um, blush, contour, brightening powder, and a blur powder. Blur, blur, blur. Oh, wow, look at this component. Very cute, very luxurious looking. It feels expensive. Okay, look at the pans. Beautiful, looks like gems or jewels. The blurring powder is, I'm gonna assume this one. This is brightening. So this retails for $46, you guys. It's gonna brighten, I guess we'll see in a second. It didn't really do anything, but my eyes are already very bright, so maybe it's like, honey, you're good, stop. Now the contour shade in here that is so warm toned I'm a little shook by it oh no 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 that is so orange I cannot put that on my skin I would look crazy good news is I bought another actually the Smashbox Cali contour little kit well let's see what happens here and you open it up and that's what it, uh, what it looks like okay this this is what's gonna happen today thank you Jesus let's just start contouring this face Okay, this is very soft. I like this. I like this because a lot of the times bronzers can be so harsh or contour powders where you're just like, honey, what happened? I do love to take this and we'll take maybe this. Oh, this is, mm, fuck it, let's try it. That's what we're here for. And I'm just gonna go over that bronze contour moment and just soften it. We're gonna veil her, as Lipstick Nick says. I think I've said that in the last 20 videos, but bitch, we're veiling. Where's a good contour brush? Ooh, this one. I love this Morphe one. This is a classic. So I'm just gonna go into here, maybe right over there as well. And we're just gonna contour the face and uh, we'll be right back. All right, I will say this. Um, first of all, I'm not living for this packaging. Kind of boring. You know, I am. This is a very first impressions video. I'm gonna keep it real on the T. Like, how stunning was this? But the formula obviously is what really matters. If it's cute and it doesn't work, great. It just sits on your vanity. <sighs> But anyway, um, the formula on this powder is actually beautiful. Let's just say that right now. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the bronzer right there and I'm just gonna blend this into my nose a tiny bit. Yes, nose, what's good? Cool, I think it is time for a little bit of blush. Now this actually is not from Sephora. I already had it here, but I've been dying to try it because this is a $60 blush. Yes, you heard that correctly. What in the hell? This is from the brand Charlotte Tilbury. Um, now I do have two shades here. I guess it's like a split thing, a duo blush cream and illuminator. This is the Pretty Youth Glow Filter and Cheek Hug Brush with Soft Focus Cream Blush Highlighter and Genius Contour Curve Duo. Oh my God, girl, I've got mouth. Let's open this bad boy up. Now this is shade Seduce. So you get the little blush moment here and then you get the brush right here, okay? All right, so this is the brush. Ooh, cute, okay. Let me put up my hand, my backdrop is dark today. Cute, yes. Oh wow, this does not feel expensive at all, girl. Oh wow. It's a blush, like cream, and then there's an illuminizer right here. Okay, oh my God, let's just try it right here. I don't see anything. And I have perfect vision. <laughs> the cream blush? Ooh, I just picture my foundation like, oh, maybe you're supposed to use the brush. Okay, let's try that. Let's dig in here. So was this literally supposed to like hug my cheek like a hood? Ooh, I'm scared, okay. What happened? I barely see something compared to the other side. Okay, I guess. Uh, I do have another blush. It's actually from the same brand, okay? The irony of it all. This came out a long time ago, but I've actually never tried it. I know it's a little weird. This is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in shade Love is the Drug. Kesha, start suing. I'm just kidding. Let's take a little MAC brush. Let's swirl it around. Oh, wow. Maybe I was not supposed to swirl that hard. All right, so these retail for $40, and I think this is gonna have a lot more pigment, so let's just push this into our skin. Oh my God, girl. And this is the $40 version? Honey, I used to wear my blush so much more severe. I don't know why I'm acting surprised at all. Let's redeem this side because honey. Oh, 
That was a lot. But the good news is it does blend, like it blends out really nicely. So remember guys, if you ever added too much product or it's too severe, take some um, loose powder and oh my God, where that cream was, it pulled my foundation. Look at that. <gasps> Oof. Girl. Once it's veiled, I actually don't mind it. All right, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> I need some highlight on. All right, so I just picked up this new NARS highlighter. It looks like this. This is in shade Capri. Um, is this blinding? I have no idea. We're gonna try it. I'm like, what in the fuck is going on around here? Now this retails for $38. I have saturated the brush. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, huh. Okay, up close, it's not really luminous. I'm not really getting a highlighting vibe. And it's just kind of like, I mean, it's there. This is very natural. So if you're someone that doesn't love a blinding highlight, this might be for you. For $38, bitch, I need some magic, okay? Okay, what else do we got here? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Veramona has a Guilty Glow highlighter. Look at this cute packaging. It looks like this. They also make that um, the color switch to clean your brushes. Love that product. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up. Now this is shade Exposed. Let's do a little finger moment. Ooh! Ooh, okay, this looks a little more promising. Let's do it right here. Ah, that's what we need. And how much is this one? $15.99, girl. That ain't too bad. Ooh, okay, there we go. Okay, for eyes today, we are going to use the BAM! Brand new Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. Um, I know this is about to hit, or maybe it's already out when this video goes live. Oh, I love it. There's a lot of mattes in here. There's neutrals, there's metallics. There is, ooh, 21 shades. And a collage of our own personal travel photos we created Born to Run to inspire you to, to take a rain check on reality. Now grab this palette and run. Ooh, yes, packaging. You know Urban Decay always does it right. Feels heavy, love that. Bitch feels like a brick. Ooh, okay, love that. Definitely love a big mirror. All right, so let's just dive into this palette and see if we like the formula. All right, I always prime my lids with the same thing, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So we, of course, are going to do that. I do this for every review to give it a fair shot. So we're just gonna coat our lids and get to playing. First shade we're gonna dip into is, is Breakaway a metallic? Let me see here. Okay, it's a little bit shiny, so we are not gonna do that. Since our lids are already primed, I wanna go right in here to Still Shot, this beautiful little peachy coral moment. And we're just gonna take this little blending brush and hit it right here. So let's apply this right into the crease and let's see what happens. Now I'm gonna take this and take it all the way right here so it follows the line of my nose. And then I like to flick up and blend out because who needs brows, honey? I love all the space to be able to paint. All right, this color blends like a dream. Yes, honey. So now we're actually gonna take that shade Breakaway, which is right here. And I'm just gonna take a little, actually the highlighting brush. I have like 20 of these on my station. So we're just gonna take this and dip into here. And I'm just gonna soften this coral color and just give my bro, my bro, oh my God. Give my brow bone, give my bro, um, give my brow bone some highlight. Oh, wow. Yes, this is definitely a metallic shade, not a matte. All right, now we're gonna go into shade Ba. Uh -huh, this more dark orange and I'm gonna tuck this right into this crease and just kind of deepen and darken that moment and just drag it up slightly this isn't gonna be like really like that different but just enough where it's like oh wow look at that never mind I lied look at that lid <gasps> Urban Decay always kills a matte formula like honey all right we are blended out now we're gonna go in with shade stranded right here now normally I wet the brush with metallics just because I love a full intensity let's just touch this and see what it looks like Oh, look at that. I'm like, I might just press this on my lid for fun. Let me just see what happens. Oh, wow, look at that. Honey, ooh! I want it a little more in my inner corner and my fingers will not let me do that. So I'm gonna go in with this little synthetic brush from MAC and let's just pack that right in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you don't even need to wet this. This is literally a dry brush. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm so sorry. This is stunning already. All right, now that this shade is laid down, I'm gonna go back into Stranded again. And we're gonna do the little infamous Jeffrey moment of shadow right there. We're gonna connect it with the inner corner and we're just gonna drag it literally right here and stop. We're gonna add a little shadow in the middle in a second, but I just wanted to lay this down first. All right, now we're gonna go in with this more dark topaz bronze shade, Ignite. And we're just gonna pop a little bit of that right here in the middle. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. Okay, 
amazing. And then we'll go back in with the blending brush. We'll take a little bit of Baja, a little bit of still shot. Just mix them around and then just kind of blend it all together. Now we are going to dive into shade Punk. It is a gorgeous chocolate brown and I'm just gonna saturate my brush. This is a little MAC 221 brush. And we're just gonna take this and put it right here and just deepen the crease a little bit. The eye is looking like a fire right now and I'm living for it. Um, okay, wow, loving this so far. All right, now just for fun, I picked these up. This is from the brand Surat Beauty. This is called Lid Lacquer. Okay, this is $36 for those little guy right here. And basically, I looked this up online. It's a eye gloss which creates a lustrous glow for eyelids and beyond. I grabbed a few shades. I don't even know what I grabbed. So let's open this up. It opens like this. Oh. Oh, it just opens up like a little... Oh, it's like a little compact in here. And let's see what you get for $36. Wow, here it is. Oh, it's like literal glossy lids. Okay, now my only problem with that is that once you put it on the lid, it gets like sticky and it's kind of hard to move your eyes. Um, so we're just gonna go right here for a minute. Oh yeah, that would look pretty, but I don't think it's really gonna go with this look. Um, I got one more shade. Let's just open it real quick. Oh my God, I forgot about this. This is hot red. Okay, let's just touch it. This is for the lid. Oh my God. Okay, I have to touch my lid with this. Okay, I've never seen a red eye gloss before. Something new on this channel. I'm just gonna put it on. Fuck it. This is the first impressions video. This is what we're here for. <gasps> oh my god, I feel like I'm putting lip gloss literally on my eye. Whoa, we need a little more. Whoa. All right, we're taking a little synthetic brush just for fun. And I know I'm gonna cover some of the shadow, don't kill me, but I just wanna get this eye gloss more in here and kind of blend it in with that gold. <gasps> Wow, this looks very runway. Okay, wow, the red is down. Okay, it just took a look to the whole nother, like a next level for me. For the eye look, I'm done. It looks amazing. Uh, and let me just tell you this, because this isn't even the end of the video, this palette is sick. The formula is really good. So Urban Decay, you better work. All right, guys, I think it's time for some mascara. There are so many new mascaras, like there's this pink one from Dior. We can't do pink mascara with this look. Okay, here's a new one. Super Fanned Out 12 Hour Volume Length and Lift, the Super Fan Mascara from Smashbox. Let's give this one a whirl. <gasps> Ooh, this matches my eyes. Hi, what are the odds? Um, how much was this mascara, y'all? $19, that is not that bad. Okay, Smashbox, and watch, it's like red. <gasps> Whoa, ooh, it bends crazy. Let's just go straight in, guys, and see what happens. All right, I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara. Um, I know, insert pun, super fan. I wouldn't grab it again, probably. It's like, eh, it's lackluster. So next product, we're getting down to the wire, guys. We're getting down to the wire. All the lip products are in here. Ooh, new liquid lips from Smashbox. Love this. Ooh, it's like very rose gold. Not for this look, but that is a very pretty lipstick. We have new Pat McGrath Lust Glosses. Oh my God, look at the gold. Um, also, I threw these in here. I have the new Kim K, um, KKW lipsticks and liners. I thought maybe we could play with those for fun. <gasps> Ooh, new cover FX setting spray, yes. I threw these in here. I know, I'm cheating. It's not from Sephora, but I just wanted to see like what they were all about. Another Smashbox lip. Let's unbox her. No, not metallic today, but these are stunning, by the way. All right, I'm feeling a nude lip, so let's just go in here. All right, I'm gonna go in with shade Nude 1. It looks like this. This is the only thing not from Sephora. They also have liners, so I'm gonna go in with, we got Nude 3, Nude 2, and Nude 1. Oh, wow. Do these twist? Oh, it's like a pencil, okay. I'm like testing right now next to it. How would this look? <gasps> Ooh, this is like 90s like fantasy. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, this liner is very creamy, went on very easy, and now let's take the nude lip, shade Nude 1. Let's give her a whirl. I mean, these are very creamy. Let's keep it real. These are really good. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, we're just gonna go like this. Now, of course, you could stop here, but honey, it's Jeffree Star. We're not stopping. You definitely wanna add some gloss on here. So we're gonna go in with, what is this shade called? Gold Allure, the last lip gloss from Pat McGrath Labs. Now, this 
Oh, love that. Oh, I love that like cream brulee scent. All right, let's put this right on top. <gasps> oh! oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <gasps> oh my God, wow. Oh my, how do we feel about this look? Okay, we're living. All right, you guys, I think we need some setting spray. So what do we have today? We have the brand new Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. Now, what is this supposed to do? Instantly set your look and make it last all day with this fast drying, alcohol free, thank God, setting spray. Weightlessly keeps makeup in place and looking fresh while defending against environmental stressors for breathable, long lasting wear. Sign me up, honey. Ooh, okay. Very like chic. All right, let's give her a little test. Ooh, it's like a fine mist. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Whoa, like a lot's coming out of my face, but like you don't really hear it. All right, let's give ourselves a little wave. And I think this look is complete. All right, we got through this video together. Um, first of all, how do y'all feel about this final look? I think it's a little fun, different, uh, and I feel like I'm on the Chanel runway. So we're gonna quickly speed through things that I lived for. If I don't mention a product, that means I was not feeling it in this review, and you will definitely, probably already know why, because I've been running my mouth for a long time. Let's start with, first of all, you know I love La Mer. Bam, Jeffree Star approved, we know that. The foundation, now, it's been about an hour plus since I've been filming on and off and I took a break. And I'm gonna say this, the foundation looks really pretty. Now, of course, remember I said, I don't know if it's because of this was in there, but the combination was really nice. My skin looks um, pretty, I love it, and I would definitely wear it again. Concealer, not a big fan of this at all. All literally, I know I've used this in a million videos, but this nine dollar moment it outshined this any day. This was like too thick for me, and it just set kind of bizarre. And then I was really disappointed because this, looking at my face now, now that it's like fully been an hour plus, it left kind of like a soft yellow overcast on my skin, which you really can't tell on camera because of all the beauty lights, but I really don't like it. I wish it was translucent. I think the formula is pretty, but overall, not into it. Now, of course, as we said, this was stunning. Love the eyeshadow palette. Urban Decay knocked it out of the park with that one. Um, no. Um, yes. Um, beautiful packaging. Formula was not that bad, but girl, we dipped into that, to this, and there really wasn't much there. The bronzer, of course, I said was way too orange for me to try, and the blush, we never even gave her a fair shot. Ooh, it's like metallic, what? Oh wow, okay, girl, I ain't too bad. Overall though, not the best. Um, Smashbox, we lived for her. Formula is beautiful. Lips, I love all the lips. KKW kills it, I think this formula is amazing. I think the packaging could be a little better. It feels very kind of Claire's, but overall the formula, stun. Ning. The lip gloss, we love a Pat McGrath on this channel, honey. She is consistently great. I think to me a lip gloss is a lip gloss. It's not mind blowing, but it is very pretty. And the setting spray, how do you really judge a setting spray unless you go out and live your life for a while? Um, I don't know. I think it feels cool. It doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel weird. But overall, I think it's good. I don't want to say anything on the setting spray because I really don't know. I'm obviously gonna have to test it out further, but don't forget before you finish watching this video to enter today's grand crazy giveaway. You can win a year supply of the Glam Glow Insta Mud and the Thirsty Palette and my entire summer collection. Also, if you don't win the grand prize, there will be four other lucky winners who get a Thirsty Palette and an Insta Mud. Bam! The rules, of course, are in the intro, so go replay that. And this giveaway actually ends June 27th. So, besides that, wow. It's been a long one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.